So a report from CDC shows that the flu is spreading very quickly across the U.S. Lots and lots of questions about what exactly is the flu and what's not. So to help us sort it all out, Dr. Neha Fias from the Cleveland Clinic is here joining us. Also, Nurse Brian from Main Campus Cleveland Clinic, who's all ready to go with his needle and everything because I'm going to be getting my flu shot. It's great to have you back. We haven't seen you since before the pandemic. Thank you so much. It's great to be back. Good to see you. So let's talk about the flu and talk about the symptoms. So many times people say, I have the flu, but it's not really the flu. Yes. So what are the flu symptoms, especially now, it can be confusing with COVID? Yes, it sure can be. And uh, the most important thing to look out for is a fever, hmm. chills, body aches, headaches. Those are some of the most common symptoms of the flu. Sometimes you can get even a dry cough that doesn't seem to want to go away. So you can get tested for the flu and see if you have it. Yes, you can. And then Tamiflu is usually suggested or no? Yes, you can talk to your doctor about whether some antivirals can be right for you. But let's talk about how deadly the flu can be. You know, at the beginning of the pandemic, we've kept saying this is like way worse than the flu. It's more deadly than the flu, but the flu kills people. We've already seen deaths already with yes. the flu. Yes, we have. And the rates of hospitalization and mortality deaths from the flu are rising again, just as they were from before the COVID pandemic. So we were just in our Fox Family Health report, the story that Wayne was reading, talking about the flu, COVID and RSV, that hospitals are already seeing this three for one now. And it, it, it's hard. But with the flu, this is something that you can help to avoid by getting the shot. Yes, indeed. If you were to receive your influenza vaccine, your flu shot, then you can actually, uh, it's more un like, unlikely that you would get the flu or need, need hospitalization if you were to get it. So let's talk about this study. I came across a study, um, I think in like Good Housekeeping magazine, and it said nearly 2 million people were tested. 2 million. So this is a huge study. At just 65 and up, it showed that people who had at least one flu shot in four years we're 40% less likely to develop Alzheimer's disease. That's fascinating. Yes, it was a look back study uh, looking at insurance claims of over 2 million people. This is based out of Houston. And it did show that those who received the flu vaccine were less likely to have developed Alzheimer's dementia later on. Is it the flu shot that you feel that it, look, it looked at or is it lack of not getting the flu because you had the flu shot? That's a great question and I think more studies are necessary but it does show that receiving the uh, getting flu causes some brain inflammation and we think the brain inflammation may lead to Alzheimer's. Wow. So if you were to get your flu shot that would be less likely that you would get the flu yeah. and therefore less likely that you would develop that. That is fascinating. Well other than two years during the pandemic I I always get a flu shot. I had not the last couple of years because I was just so careful about with COVID and not having a lot of interactions with people anyway. You suggest getting the flu shot and it's if people need, I know uh, John Yusko is getting the shingle shot today with the flu shot, that's okay? That's okay, just uh, if you do have a reaction, make sure you have a little bit of acetaminophen or Tylenol on hand so that you can help your symptoms. So s you can do even a COVID booster, people are getting COVID shots too with the flu, that's okay to piggy bank it together? Yes. Sir. Indeed. In fact, you can get one in each arm. Oh, have fun. <laughs> but right now we're just doing this. We're going to do the flu shot. Uh, Brian, you're ready? I'm ready when you're you gonna are. You're going to be gentle? I'll be gentle. Okay. So I, I've never had any any reactions at all to the, to the flu shot. You don't usually see reactions, do you? Well, every once in a while we do, but we know how to manage them. So if you do have one, make sure you talk to your doctor. A little soreness, maybe. I mean, that's kind of to be expected, but just a little bit, but not with Brian because he's great <laughs> and he's he's going to make sure he does a super good job. And right. I have a turkey to make on Thursday. I can't right, well, we'll, made up with a sore we'll, arm. We'll, we'll keep your arms. OK, <laughs> okay. okay. Right. so Brian works in the emergency room in main campus, so you are this is this is nothing, right, compared to what you do. No, he's a pro. Okay. All right, and I'm I should relax, right? Yeah, just relax your arm. Okay. Just relax. I am ready to go. Got up all that self tanner, right? <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay. Don't clench your arm. Poke. Okay, I I heard it, but I didn't feel a thing. Okay, Brian. Wow, you are amazing. Didn't feel a thing. I didn't you even did feel great. it go in. No, thank you. Thank you so much. There you go. 
Thank you, Brian. You'll, you can still make the turkey. Okay, thank you. <laughs> yes, yes, thank you. All right, so you highly suggest these with kids ages, how old they should start. Is it still six months, the recommendation? Six months, yes, indeed. And if for children who have never received the flu vaccine before, there's we recommend a two-shot series before the age of nine. And do they still do the nasal shots, or is that not happening this year? Um, there is one, but we should. you should talk to your doctor about what's best for you. And we're seeing that this is actually a good scope, that it's covering most strains that we're seeing so far. Yes, um, this, the flu cases are rising, so we'll have more data over the next several weeks to determine how the reactivity has been. And it takes about two weeks to take effect, right? Y so. Yes. All right. Thank you. No, you're quite welcome. I appreciate the extra protection here now against the flu. Thank you for explaining all that with the study. It's really fascinating. Thank you so much. It is great to see you both. Thank, Thank you. you. I don't feel a thing. I feel great. Thank you. <laughs>